So now then, ladies and gents, and welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having an amazing day, just like myself. As always, I am your host, Bryn Williams, and in today's video, we are going to be reacting to the Elvis trailer that came out over the weekend, directed by Baz Luhrmann, stars Austin Butler and Tom Hanks as well, which I'm really uh, sounds really good. Uh, we came out on Friday. I wanted to do a reaction on Friday, but uh, it's my granddad's 90th, so we had a bunch of family up and I couldn't get away from my family obligations, shall we say. So uh, we're gonna do it now, and we're gonna do it live. Fuck it, let's do it live. No. We'll do it live, fuck it. Do it live. Um, and as always, uh, I've brought some special guests with me today. Firstly, the guy we cannot get rid of, he sticks around longer than the disease that we will not name. Mr. Nate Hennessy. Oh, fuck's sake. Where is he? Come on, Nate. All right, I'm taking a pass. Fucking, come on. Hello. Oh, for fuck's sake. That's definitely getting demonetized. <laughs> uh, I, I noticed... Hey, hey, pretty, hey, pretty baby. Uh, I noticed uh, something's a little bit different. Yeah, I knew it. You had color, you know. Yeah, as per usual. Next week, you come back and you're bald. Uh, yeah, next time I'm gonna go bald. Either that or I'm gonna dye my hair bright yellow. Yeah, so next hair colour is just gonna be shit brown or something, probably. I mean, that's my natural colour if you can't tell by my beard. Yeah, true. <laughs> true. You're not shit brown though, surely. Anyway, we always take too long on these fucking intros. And yeah, next up, we have a very special guest. I don't think he's been on my channel many times before. Uh, I think he did a live stream announcement thing with me way back in the day. Uh, if, if I find the thumbnail for it, I'll put it up here. It is, of course... He's been on my channel. He's been on Nate's channel. So, yeah, go check that video up. I'll put a card above. It is Mr. Mike What? How are we? How are we? How's it going? Yeah. yeah like say, we ain't doing that joke. Again. We always do that joke. Nice Star Wars top, I see. Who's behind you? Who's behind me? Harley Quinn. Nice. Yeah, that's the Arkham one. Yeah, we're not getting back on that, you bastard. <laughs> Although that's got the most views out of those reactions we posted last week. So, yeah, I'm not surprised, why. to be honest. <laughs> um, yeah, true. Very true. Um, right, let's move over to this scene. We've got my nice backgrounds and my nice goals and everything. Um, so yeah, oh Whoa, this is a very nice background bread. Good job. You haven't seen it, have you? No. So yeah. I knew that was <laughs> But um yeah, so we're gonna react to it. Sarcasm. Um, ah <laughs> and good thing that my uh fucking tablet has just shit itself, hasn't it? I don't know why it's been bah, it's only done it. Sarcasm. Ah uh. uh. <laughs> Corner taken quickly! Arigi! No. Um, where were we? Uh, yeah, I'm going to react. We're going to react to this trailer. Uh, I have set something up on my stream deck that would hopefully turn the music off when we're doing the trailer and vice versa. So um, hopefully it works. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure it will, but we'll try. So. Can I just say before we start, we should have put our hair in quiffs. Just yeah, to, I was going to uh, see if I could wear a suit or some such thing, but it just, nah. nah not having it. Wouldn't have it today. I did have to do a thumbnail for a review that I'm bringing out and just wasn't having it. So, yeah, that's that really. Uh, ready to go, boys? Mm -hmm. Right. Hit yeah. it. There are some who'd make me out to be the villain of this here story. Let's don't let a good thing die. Are you born with destiny? It's looking good so far. Or does it just come knocking at your door? There's a young singer from Memphis, Tennessee. Give him a warm hayride welcome. Mr. Elvis Presley. Are you want to pause it for copyright? Yeah, well, that's what I was trying to do. And for some of no reason, the background music wasn't coming on. It's, it's totally kind of messed up a little bit, but it's fine. I'll figure a way out to fix it. But uh, yeah. Looking good so far. Copyright, as per usual. Um, 
Especially with Elvis songs. <laughs> Especially with Elvis songs. I don't think we're there yet, though. I don't think it's that bad yet. Um, Just wait until it gets on to and uh, Don't stay on my blues when you shoot us. Yeah. If it is in there. Right. Um, anything else you want to say? Or am I good? all good to go to play? I, I just I do love I, I do love the fact of when he went into that um oh what would you call it the tent the tent in the beginning when they have yeah, it holding yeah. a sermon absolutely love that because I think I think he was wearing like was it a lightning bolt like yeah. flash or was it would it been oh, flash Shazam. Oh, or Shazam yeah oh we're on fire we're ah, on five seconds right. so we know where we are yeah. Yeah, it's just like I love, I love. Yeah, that there, there's, just... there's the tie. You can see the tie. I think. Hang on. Yeah. Let me just skip it forward a little bit. I'll fucking find it now. I mean, one thing that I will say is Tom Hanks. His voice I is just so. Destiny. Oh, Captain Marvel. There, there we go. go. Oh, Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel on the comic. Oh, oh the original. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No. So it is Shazam. Yeah. Shazam was known as Captain yeah, yeah, Marvel. Yeah. You're right. Uh, yeah. I'll just skip it back to... No! God, please, no! 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 Yeah! Yeah! What were we on? 40 seconds, yeah? 40. Yeah. Aye. And... Yeah, I thought yeah, There we go, it. right. Uh, but yeah, Tom Hanks' voice. It's so just good. everything you hear him in. It's amazing. Fucking amazing. Uh, you need to... If you haven't seen uh, Beautiful Day in the Neighbourhood, where he plays uh, Mr. Rogers. Yeah. Bang and roll. Bang and bang and roll. Right, ready to go? Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, okay, it's not playing. Come on. You want me? I'll, I'll do it if you want. No, that's fine. Oh, why is it not? It's fine. Get a haircut, buttercup! In that moment, I watched that skinny boy transform into a superhero. Go, Baz Lerman. He was my destiny. I wish to promote you, Mr. Preston. Uh, just pause that quick and hopefully it all comes back. I on. just heard a bit of yeah. uh, Jailhouse Rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I paused yes. it, kind of. Yeah. How good does Tom Hanks look as Major Tom Moore? He's, he is yeah. Manager Tom Moore, isn't it? He's Manager. Who who is it that's playing the young girl? This because uh, Austin Butler. A spitting image. He is a spitting um, image. Just let me. Uh, I mean, his nose is a bit small, but apart from that, he's a spitting image. Uh, I shall tell you what else he's been in. Uh, just quickly, he has been in. I'm just waiting for it to load. Okay, it's not it's been a prick. Uh, Wikipedia. Here we go. It's usually right. <laughs> uh, once upon, he was in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, The Dead, oh, the dead Don't yes. Die, which was the one with Adam Driver and Bill Murray, a uh, comedy horror film directed by Jim Jarmusch, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Dude, which I've never seen, got Catherine Prescott in it, Lucy Hale, so some famous actresses there, The Intruders, that was, is that, uh, Miranda Cosgrove was in that, so some good films, uh, Aliens in the Attic as well on there, which I never watched. And he's been in a bunch of Disney stuff and Nickelodeon stuff. Zoe 101, iCarly, Hannah Montana. Uh, oh, really? Uh, no, that's what I remember him in, iCarly. He was also in the Shannara Chronicles, if you ever watched that. He was an arrow for a couple of should, episodes. Should I, should I admit that I've watched I, iCarly? I mean, that's a bit of So, I've just got part of the way through editing this video. Uh, this admittedly very late Elvis trailer reaction, in case you didn't realise that the trailer came out three weeks ago. And I just saw this bit that... Nate admits to being an iCarly fan. And unlike me and Mike who say, oh yeah, we used to watch it as kids, it sounds like he still watches it. So if you got to this part in the video, I want you to go and comment down below, as well as the thing we talk about at the end, Nathan Hennessy, secret iCarly fan, question mark, both in my comment section and his comment section. And let's just weird him the fuck out. Why is everybody spamming in, uh, Nathan Hennessy, secret iCarly fan? So uh, yeah, I shall leave you be now. To watch when I was a kid, I did. I watched it. Yeah. So um, yeah, so that's what he's been in. He's been he's been in some pretty good stuff. So uh, yeah, on with the trailer. Yeah. Count the jail. I'm ready. Ready to fly.
Yeah. It does look a lot like Elvis. I can't move, I can't sing. Some people want to put me in jail. So where's moving? They might put me in jail for walking across the street, but you're a famous one. Mate, that just like but overall, uh what's what's the word? Costuming. Uh obviously uh you're a big fan of uh you and McGregor Nate. And you know what Baz Luhrmann, uh -huh. Baz Luhrmann directed? No. Moulin Rouge. Oh. Australia. Uh, you, why didn't it show the um, crowd? The ginger-haired girl. Look like Lily James. Is it Lily James? I can Google it for you. All I knew that was in it was Austin Butler and Tom Hanks. So uh, this is all brand new to me because uh, we did kind of a I mean, ranking it, it, video. It sped, it sped through, but I, it looked like Lily James. Yeah, we so. did kind of a uh, ranking yeah. video back at... Uh, well, we, we, we were getting ready to do a ranking video of our most anticipated that may still come later on but um what was i saying uh elvis was one of my most anticipated so I, all mm -hmm. i knew was austin butler and tom hanks uh we got dacre montgomery's in it who's really good he's a really good actor Cody smith mcphee is in it who's also great in he plays nightcrawler in the newer x-men david wenham who always oh what's the bloody guy's name uh He's Sean Bean's brother in Lord of the Rings. Uh, I would remember him from that. I can't remember his bloody oh. name now. It's totally skipped my head. It, I don't know. His, I don't know the actor's name. Was it? Uh, yeah, Boromir, it's, but, like it's Boromir's brother. Boromir's um, brother. Yeah. Faramir. I don't know the actor's name. Faramir. He played Faramir. He was also in Three Hundred, and Pipes the Caribbean, Dead Man, yeah. Tell No Tales. Uh, so he's really good. We got Luke Bracey, who I only remember from uh, Point Break, the new remake. Kelvin Harrison mm -hmm. Jr. is really good. Richard Roxburgh is always in some good stuff. But so far, no Lily James. Uh, the only uh, ginger one I can find is Natasha Bassett, who's playing Dixie Lock. So uh, Colonel Tom Parker. Why did I say Ma Major Tom Moore? Tom Moore's the bloody guy who died. <laughs> the one which is Garden. <laughs> Colonel Tom Parker. That's what I meant. I don't know why I call him yeah. Tom Moore. Makes the two of them up. I'm an idiot. I really am. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. But anyway, so uh, that's who's been casting it so far. So it's not really anybody I don't think you guys know. But ready to go? Ready to go on? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right Please, just God given. So there can't be nothing wrong with it. That's Richard Roxburgh. But it has nothing to do with us. It has everything to do with us. The voice is really good. Oh, yeah. Hello. Voldemort. Oh look, you missed that bit. Voldemort had a cameo. <laughs> 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 no. Wait, 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 wait! I've got the perfect thing here. Ah! Fuck, I can't reach it. What you want? A fire cadaver, motherfucker! Fucking hell! I'll get mine now, shall I? <laughs> I don't want to see your wand. No. That's the wrong seriously? website for that one. <laughs> Just hear it zip. <laughs> zip. Seriously. Hey. Huh. Yeah. Huh. I, I'm, I'm looking. I'm just bent over. <laughs> you actually do have one. Okay. Okay, I'm going once a Kimbo. <laughs> Looks like. No, this isn't Harry so Potter. <laughs> when Crumbs, uh, Crumbs Grinder World. Secrets of Dumbledore puts out his new trailer. We'll get the ones back out, mate. And one fight. Oh, I, I'm telling you now, when it comes out, I'm going to the uh, opening night dressed fully as a Hufflepuff student. Yeah. I've already said that. So. Right, on again? Yep. Yeah. 
Okay, it's not played it. it it's it's very. When things are too dangerous to say, sing. I'm on before the show. And nobody's gonna remember me. I need to get back to who I really am. And who are you, Alice? I just gotta be making the most of this thing. Right, yeah, I'm, de I'm definitely getting copyright for this. <laughs> I just had to pause it for five seconds. I was like, this is this is looking really good. I I. I say it was on my most anticipated. I think it was like 19 or 18 on my most anticipated. If we still do those lists, then you'll um, obviously see it. That's a bit of a sneak peek for that. Um, I don't think it was on any of your lists, uh, really. I don't think you guys realised it was coming out. So, yeah. I no I, I'm surprised that they haven't played Count Hell Follow in Love, though, because that's one of his best known songs. Yeah, I'm. Um, uh, uh, 50 seconds of the video. But I love the fact that. Um, Baz Luhrmann, who's done, I'll just go for it, uh, Romeo and Juliet, Strictly Ballroom, uh, Moulin Rouge, Australia, and The Great Gatsby. W what a filmography that yeah. is. Great Gatsby is amazing. Yeah, Moulin Rouge with Ewan McGregor, great. I, I watched the Romeo and Juliet that he I've did. only watched it once, so I can't remember. Which Romeo and Juliet was it? the one with DiCaprio. Oh, I hate it. That one, I watched oh, in that school. Modern, mo modernized yeah. version, but still with the um, yeah. original language. I watched that in school when I used to live in Grimsby, and that was like one of our English lessons. Like We had to um, watch the film, as, as as you do. Australia, I've got on Blu-ray. I really need to the, watch again. The difference between Lincoln and Barnsley, where I'm from, because we did Romeo and Juliet. However, instead of showing us Romeo and Juliet, they played Nomeo and Juliet. <laughs> 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 That's one way to do it. Whereas, whereas the school I went to, I think they played us the modern day version with that Brim was on about, and they played us the um, one of the um, I don't know if it's an original. I can't. It's, it was Romeo and Juliet, but it was actually done in the proper aesthetic oh, yeah, of the time period so and everything many, else. So we basically compared the two. There's so many versions of Romeo and Juliet. I think there's like ten films. Yeah. Right. Anyway, totally off topic. Yeah. Fuck, fuck Shakespeare. <laughs> fuck the bad. <laughs> uh, okay, you don't want to play. Here we go. This car will be over in a flash. Looks so good. We are the same, you and I. We are two odd, lonely children reaching for eternity. The greatest show on earth. 24th of June. The building. So that bit where he's that bit when he turned around and said we are two lonely children reaching for eternity. Yeah. In their own rights, yeah. they made it. Very true. Um. Did you ever see the conspiracy theory that Elvis never actually died? Did you ever uh, there hear was like... the tragedy of the no, there, there was, there was, <laughs> no, there was an old homeless man who died, and they did a DNA test. It was like ninety-eight percent match to Elvis. Yeah. However, Elvis had supposedly died on the toilet after he <laughs> was his peanut say, butter jelly and bacon genuinely, sandwich. Genuinely, I wonder if they're going to show that in this film. That would be so funny. You know, they're not. But I hope they go through like all his struggles and stuff, kind of like what they did with uh, Freddie Mercury and Bo Rap and Rocket Man with yeah. Uh, yeah. Elton. Like it's looking like. I, mean, I, I watched Elton again the well Rocket Man yeah, the other yeah. day, and every time I watch it, it still gets me seeing him doing that overdose. Yeah. Genuinely, I think it's just like I, I, my next. My next trick, I'm gonna kill myself, and then he just fucking collapses into the pool. Oh god. The pool. Yeah. Yeah, I'm good to cry. What I was going to say, um, we're getting a lot of good uh, biopics for musicians. Uh, the Dirt was really good on Netflix, if you haven't checked that out. That was really good. Uh, Motley Crue. I really enjoyed that. Um, <laughs> it's not for everybody. The one they did about Ray Charles was good. Yeah. I mean, like, recently, like, the Dirt one came out last year, year before. So, like, the past three or four years, they've got some really good uh, musical biopics what band or singer or whatever should they do next i know what mine is but i wanted to ask you two first 
Ooh. I know what mine is. I'll ask Mike first. One. I don't know, honestly. I I do have a list of a couple, but um, yeah. <laughs> I think, um, Go on. Oh, what's his name? Tom Jones. That would be a Tom good Jones. one. Go on then, Nate. It's that not unusual. I mean, no. Yeah. Go on, Nate. Just because, <laughs> like, the man is still singing. The man has had a hell of a history. Yeah, he really has. And he's, and he's still creating history. Yeah. Nate. I've got two, if I can say Go two. On. Just because, obviously, we saw with the Queen one, Bohemian Rhapsody. We saw with the Elton one, Rocket Man, that song ones work. I've got a feeling that David Bowie and yeah. call it Major Tom would be good. And I've got a feeling that Oasis and call it Wonderwall would be good. Not what I would have picked at all. And I'll tell you oh, why. Really? Michael Jackson. Oh, I think that's it. the next obvious one. It's either going to be Thriller or Billie Jean or something. I think that's the next the thing obvious is one. About, thing is about Michael Jackson, there's still a lot of people who uh, are like, Michael Jackson is a... Well, I'm not even going to say the word. But, yeah. yeah, I'm going to say it. Mm. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Uh, so I don't know if they would, because it's still kind of recent since he... I mean, I know it's yeah. like 15 years ago. I, I think that would be the next one. My choice, number one, ACDC. I'm sorry, Ooh, but, that would be like, genuinely, Bon Scott, all through that, when they brought on um, Brian Johnson, all the way up to modern day. It perfect. is a question for you, though. If they made an ACDC, what song do you want it to be named Fun after? Or back in black. Really? Or back in black. I've, I've really. Yeah, it'd either be Thunderstruck, Back in Black, or. It could be Highway to Hell. Highway to Hell, I could, I could see to be fair, because it's probably their most known song. I think uh, you shook me on that one. Or shoot, sh shoot I to was thrill. thinking Hell's Bells. <laughs> There's too shoot many. Shoot to thrill. I was thinking Hell's Bells. I mean, Depends on what you do. It. Rito for a while, so if yeah, you're gonna Hell's do a Bon Bells, Scott, okay. Bon Scott one, then obviously you do Highway to Hell. In my opinion. Yeah. But if you're gonna do a whole ACDC and go through the eras, kind of like what they did with Motley Crue. I think you could do a Thunderstruck or whatever. What's, um, or just go with ACDC. Man. What Iron Man movie was it that had Highway to Hell in it? Cause the first, uh, the second first one, one the Iron, Black. Man, Iron Man 2 had yeah, was complete ACDC soundtrack. AC soundtrack. Avengers had Shoot to Thrill when he's coming yeah. in on the PA when they're fighting Loki in Germany. Uh, the first. The, the only reason why I'm asking because I was watching them all through and I was like, which one had Highway to Hell in it? I was like, it's not the first they one. Don't, I don't think it ever has I mean, has they've, they've got back in black and then in the end they play Iron. Yeah, I don't think uh, it ever has black Highway Sabbath. to Hell in it. Does no, it? I think it's I, always I, back to I mean, black, could... uh, black. Black. Back in black. Um, shoot the thrill and then... Iron Man 2 is basically ACDC film. It's, it's literally the Mandela effect then, because I remember watching it when I was younger in cinema and thinking, oh yeah, it's got Highway to Hell. The only I way it might be at the end of Iron Man 2. That's the only thing I can do. Control. I do have the Iron Man 2 soundtrack on CD, so I know it's ACDC and I need to find it to know what songs it is. It might be at the end of Iron Man 2. I'll just double deck for you quick. The other one I was thinking, because I was thinking ACDC, I also thought Iron Maiden. Uh, Iron Man 2. I mean, Iron Man Highway to Hell, there's a YouTube video about it. Hang on. I was thinking, like, bands doing the, the films and that, I was thinking Iron Maiden, because they also had a band member that was... that had passed away, and they also added more members, because I remember originally it wasn't the members that are all together now. I also know Bruce Dickinson self-diagnosed himself with cancer and then he got it right and then got yeah, treated okay. and kept getting the train Sorry. to and from um, hospital after having chemo. I think it's at there's the a end couple, of Iron Man 2. So. There's a couple of bands that I could think about and musicians that they could do them about. Like ELO, that would be yeah. a good one. Yep. Yeah. Because uh, Jeff Lynne's amazing. I, I mean, I know I talk about them a lot because they're my favourite band, but Muse. <laughs> I knew that was coming. Yeah. Muse. Mew's original name was Rocket Baby Dolls, so maybe if they did a biopic about when they were Rocket Baby Dolls, transitioning transition to music, they started getting I think, big. Uh, Coldplay would be a good one. I think we're going the very, uh, shall we say, like rock centric, apart from like Michael Jackson, obviously, because I know you guys are yeah. huge rock fans. But I think like I think we'd do it. Or maybe after your little edit of Madonna, we should. Have yeah, no, it. I'm not. I'm not saying that. I think we we're, we're up for a new rap one. We had Straight Outta Compton, mm. Notorious. Yeah. I think we could see like a Wu Tang Clan one, or a Dr. Dre, or a Timberland, or a Fifty Cent, or an Eminem. So. The thing is, you're saying all them. I've heard of them, but I've never even listened to the music apart from. We had Eminem, which was Eight Mile. We had Fifty 
he sent, which I can't remember the name of that one. Yeah, but I don't think that was really I mean, a biopic. I mean, Ain't wasn't really a else. biopic. No, that's what I'm saying. He's kind of his life, but it just it was a fictionalised version of his life. So, um... I mean, do we have a Beatles one? I think there's... Yes, I think uh, there's yeah, a Ringo one. Yeah, again, we're going one. back onto rock. But yeah, back, going back onto I rock. don't know, but oh. we kind of talked about this for a little while now. Um, unless you guys can yeah. think of anything else, let's kind of move on. I was, I was kind of thinking, of because um, we obviously did a majority of rock and stuff, I'd love to see a classical music yeah. like Pavarotti or like the Bocelli. stuff like that. That would be brilliant. Three tenors. Pacelli, yeah. I, as much as I've turned around and said that I love rock, heavy metal, hmm. I do listen to like classical and add R&B. I listen to everything. Actually, if I like it, I listen to it. you've just kind of given me one that is weird because it's very meta, shall we say? I would like a John Williams documentary. Just genuinely. Ooh, like, yeah. I know it's kind of meta because he made songs for music, so songs for film. So, if then they composed a John Williams score for the John Williams fi film, I think that would be very meta. But at the same point, it's kind of like the guy has been going for fucking years and years and years and years. So, made some of the best scores, some of the most memorable scores in all of film. Like you can't walk into a theatre yeah. without hearing some sort of John Williams score played in the toilets or played in the theatres. He's doing the theme tune for Obi Wan. Yeah, I know. I, I well, I thought that'd oh, be something nice. we get onto with you a little bit later when we do eclipse, but we will. We will. yeah. So, but we've kind of been going for about uh, twenty-five minutes. One more biopic. One more yeah, biopic, well, uh, just because it's already come out. Uh, but I'd love to see a modern one. Amadeus, yeah. uh, another Mozart one. Yeah. Yeah. Because right. that movie came out in '84, so yeah. we're ready for a model. We're, we are ready for another one. So, yeah, so that pretty much wraps up our reaction, ladies and gents. I know we've been going a long time. It always happens when we get three of us in a room and we talk for <laughs> fucking forever. So, I'm sorry that it's so long. Um, but, yeah, first, uh, when this wants to work, I don't know what it's doing. I could just bring it up on here. Uh, so, firstly, Mike, you're the first one on, first uh, guest we've had bar Louie on this channel that isn't Ty or Nate. So, uh, plug your shit, mate. Where can they find you? Uh, they can find me on my Instagram, which is MikeWatt94. Nice. There we go. Pretty easy one. Um, that's quick and easy. Aye, quick and easy. Oh, now we've got to let this one talk for half an hour. That stuff. Go on, oh, go on, Nate. You know I'm only playing. Can I just say, I, I, with Mike's surname, we could just make one of those jokes, you know, like, what was his name exactly? What? Yeah. <laughs> I do that far too often and more than you realise. <laughs> but yeah, you can find me on YouTube at Nathan Hennessy. You can find me on Twitch, Gaily Games 24. You can oh, find me I on TikTok at Nathan Hennessy 24. I played my one. Hey! <laughs> You want me to do it again, or? No, you're good. I'll just play YouTube right there. Uh, TikTok just at Nate Hennessy 24 and on Twitter at Nate Hennessy. Yep. Uh, just... And because uh, I know Broom won't plug it, so I'll plug it. We now have a silver screen network uh, TikTok, which will probably be in, oh, down in the description, which is literally that. silver screen network. I address that at a certain point when we kind of do a video about what's going on with the channel. So, yeah, uh, you obviously saw it a minute ago. Uh, firstly, don't forget to go and like the video if you like our reaction to the elvis trailer uh don't forget to go and subscribe and hit the notification bell we have been uploading a shit ton recently we've really smashed it i've got tons more videos coming uh i've got my long-awaited uncharted death on the nile and moonfall reviews still to come because of me being over the busy over the weekends i've already mentioned also uh i want to do a review on Wu assassins and the new movie uh fists of fury or fists of power or something uh that sounds right up my alley and i really want to do a review of it so there's that and we've also got serrano on the horizon with peter dinklage so check out that you've also got my socials you've got twitch day one games which i'm not currently using at the moment while well, we're getting some stuff on the show up and ready we've got instagram Brim williams youtube facebook at this week on the silver screen and finally twitter at Brim williams yt and just before uh we disappear don't forget to leave a comment down below uh what is your favourite Elvis song? Uh, are you looking forward to this? Won't slip on my blue suede shoes. Uh, <laughs> what is your... Uh, are you looking forward to it for a start? Do you like the casting of Austin Butler? Do you like the casting of uh, Tom Hanks? Baz Luhrmann do it for you? 
Uh, what else? Uh, what, what should we get them to comment down below? Your favourite Tom Hanks movie? Yeah, that's a good one. And I would also say favourite song um, that I kind of mentioned earlier. Go on, Mike. But, oh, any bands that they like that they'd love to see yes. this type of thing Perfect. done. For some that other would be awesome. Not, maybe, yes, you're totally like in the in the nether realm. So I don't know. Maybe that's Ooh. just Skype. But still. Um, so yeah. So that's pretty much the end of the show, ladies and gents. So yeah. Thanks for checking us out yet again. Um, we love having you here. Go and check these boys out. They're amazing. We've got an eclipse news coming up later, haven't we, Nate? So should be good. Uh -huh. And yeah, we shall see you in a bit. Good wave, wave, smile wave, boys.